Welcome to Girls Talk Rock, where the musician's creativity finds its voice. And here are your hosts, Tracy Smith and Beth Venus. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm Tracy. Tracy Smith. I'm Beth Venus. And we are Girls, Girls Talk, Talk Rock. Rock. I've been told I need to stay relaxed because... Yes, we didn't feed her any chocolate before the show today. Dang it. Well, you know, I was on the phone with one of our guests earlier today, and I was saying if we only had chocolate tequila, because I those are my two favorite foods, tequila okay. and chocolate, so I needed chocolate tequila, and she told me there, it existed, so, you know, I'm just saying. That could well, we'll have to hunt some of that down for hey, you. so we're really uh, going headstrong, boom, we are into the new season. Those of you who are, were partying out last weekend for the last Labor Day weekend, this is our first official week weekend coming up of fall. This o- is fall. Autumn. We're going into the fall. Autumn, if you're a back Easter. Don't trip and fall. Don't trip and fall. We're in. We're going right. to fall forward Stay later. Stay upright. <laughs> We're so bad. I know. But, you know, one of the neatest things about uh, the fall season here in Southern California is it's still festival season for us. It uh, is. You know, the rest of the country, eh, coming and going with the weather scene. Here we are in beautiful, sunny Southern California. And between L.A., Orange County, and uh, b- the perfect you barely San Diego need a, County. You barely need a little sweater. You barely need a little sweater, and you have some of the best lineups. So we really want to introduce all of our listeners and everybody tell a friend because... This is festival season, man. And today, specifically, we are talking about two major festivals. Yep. One being Kabu. Kabu. And the other being... The Long Beach Zombie Fest. Oh, holy Are you Mary. freaking kidding me? I know. Man, we, we've been looking this stuff up, and Zombie Fest is going to be off the hook. They've got so much stuff going on at Zombie Fest. Uh, let me just tell you, the, there's going to be a meet and greet with the Dead Man's Party. This is one of my favorite groups. Dead Man's Party. Are my husband me? went to high school with him. That's the guy that looks and sounds exactly like Danny Elfman of Uncle Boingo Dance Party. There, you know what? Uh, Dead Man's Party is by far in my top five tributes yes. of all time. Yes, They really are. They're just stupid fun, amazing, nice people, cool people, and ready. they know how to turn on a party. So that's going to be uh, one of the highlights for me. Uh, if you look, are going looking for something really exciting to do for the Halloween season, uh, Zombie Fest in Long Beach. October is, 14th through the 16th. Yep. And so you don't have to you know, just use your Halloween weekend. This is before that. Yeah. It's going to be like crazy dress up. Everybody's going to be decked out. This is like... This is it. This it's is gonna like be insane. right up with Comic Con for me. This is like yeah, really and cool. So we're gonna tell you a little bit about the event because it's a three day invasion, and it's gonna be awesome. It's good. It's uh, let's see what they say. Rainbow Pier or Rainbow? There's an area over there. <laughs> There's so much. It covers There's a huge <laughs> area. Uh, be ready. Wear some comfortable shoes. I guess that's the biggest thing I yeah. can say. Now there. Uh, so what we understand is there's gonna be a thriller workshop. Thriller workshop. Uh, they're gonna be. A flash mob that's going to be uh, going, uh, walking downtown Long Beach. (sighs) No. That sounds amazing. Thriller. That's thriller. I'm going to thrill it. I'm going to thrill yeah, it. Yeah. But they also have an interactive haunted maze, like a scare zone. Um, <laughs> That's going to be way too much fun. I'm like so stoked on it. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, be Beth. A, but you can be a scare reactor for 15 minutes and attendees get to watch or you get to be involved either way. So this is like an interactive experience. Right. So let me tell you yeah. about the next thing that they're going to be doing. They're going to have a brain eating contest. Oh, man. Delicious. If you've never eaten brain, you've got to get there. Old school, man. <laughs> Old school, yeah. I, I, I just feel like these are all the things that really get me ex- get me excited. You know what else they're going to be doing? Don't get naughty They've people. got something called the uh, Devil Child, which is a sideshow. And if you haven't checked that out, go to their website. It's it looks super duper fun. I mean, it's Devil Child. Come on. Okay, so the stars of The Walking Dead. Uh, basically, Vincent Ward, who plays Oscar on the, the the actual series, The Walking Dead, is going to be one of the major stars that's going to be there, and he's going to be walking around, and it's going to be way too much fun. 
Oh my gosh, I think we're just going to follow him around like the living dead. I think we should. Cause that's With like, our Girls Talk Rock Glow in the Dark wristbands. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. So we <laughs> are introducing, we're so excited about fall. There's a lot of festivals. And those of you who attend a lot of shows and a lot of festivals in the fall season here in Southern California, and if you're listening nationally, you get your buns out here to Southern California because this is where it's at. Uh, we are talking right now about the Long Beach Zombie Fest. By all means, check it out. Go online, see how you can be a part of that. Uh, we also have some tickets we're going to be giving away in the next couple of weeks. Yes, we to, are. To uh, Long Beach Zombie Fest. So if you find out, hey, I'm on a budget and I really want to go to that, yeah. you need to listen in. We might have some tickets for you. And you can win. Totally. Yeah. And the reason we really got involved in the first place is because... Two of my favorite tributes are going to be there. And one is totally. Ray, the Slaves Against the Machine, yes. which is like to die for. If you guys were down here at the San Diego show at House of Blues, that was just one of the highlights of uh, my summer. And uh, if, you were, show. if you were listening in last week, we talked to Michael Tadeo, Tadeo Man, who is the lead singer. Of and Slaves Against the Machine. He's that's the whole right. reason to be there in a, like in a heartbeat. And we were pushing him because he's a really amazing compelling uh, artist. And then Dead Man's Party, which is uh, the original and just been around forever. And they have a lot of the original equipment from... Original Oingo Boingo. From Oingo Boingo. And uh, a great show and a lot of fun. And uh, who doesn't like that music year-round, much less the the season of Halloween? I think it's going to be cool. Also, they've got something down there at the Zombie Fest called the Bat Cave Hollywood Lounge. And they're also going to have the Scooby-Doo van that's going to be rolling out. And something about the... Crypt or the those are both very kinky things. The, the, a van and a cave. The coffin, the coffin something, that or the sounds, coffin car. Oh, the coffin like car. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even. <laughs> I'm. I, there's going to be club cosplay. So if you like to see people dressing totally. up, totally. Tracy, you dressing up? Uh, well, my husband Lee, I think we're going, and he said something about who's going to do our makeup. So I think we're. I think we're going to dress up. Ja, I'm doing it. I'm we going so big. We are so dressing up. Um, and go big or go home. I've never really done cosplay. I'm going to turn to some of the people around me who are very in the know on that. Uh, but you know, the music there is going to be a lot of indie and original artists. Uh, we mentioned the two tribs that are going to be there, but it's just chock full of entertainment. Uh, really worth your while to go check out. And unlike. Uh, Every festival, you can buy tickets for one day or two days or all three days. So what is the link for them to go check it out? Is it just the zombiefest.com or longbeachzombiefest.com? It is. Yeah, just type in Long Beach Zombie Fest, and it will come up as longbeachzombiefest.com. Yep, it has a schedule of tickets. We really want to be excited. highlights. and And like, you know, you were saying... Just like at Kaboo, you find us at Girls Talk Rock. We're going to be there. We're going to be uh, there uh, as the media, kind of uh, representing old Enter Talk here. And look for us and check in with us. We'll make sure you get a glow in the dark. Girls Talk Girls Rock talk bracelet, wristband. wristband. It glows in the dark, so you party so all day. So what you do is you party all day, right? And then you walk around, and it collects all that nice San Diego sunshine, sunshine. right? Right, and then or Long Beach, sunshine. Long Beach in this case, yeah, and then it glows, yeah, and then at night you can find your friends because you're going to be wearing the bracelet. You're going to be wearing that wonderful pinky purple bracelet. That's right, that's right. It's going to so, glow. Which brings me around to a more uh, the next uh, the other festival that is much closer to home for us. We've got to go to it here in San Diego. We have Kabu. Kabu. I wonder where they got that name, Kabu. That'd be like a great. I, I wish I knew. I love saying it because it's like it's happy and scary at the same time. Yeah. But Kabu is the ultimate experience. If uh, It's also three days of fun, almost 40 hours of uh, of music. Like 120 bands or something and crazy? Crazy sanity. I think it's bigger and better than the original Woodstock, actually. Well, I'm kind of like getting excited about it because, yeah. again, you can look for Tracy and I from Girls Talk Rock uh, being a media presence for Enter Talk Radio there at Kabo. We'll also have uh, some prizes and some uh, glow in the dark bracelets for all of our uh, fans and friends who That's come right. up to us and we're say, hey, share away. in the love. Um, and we're going to be there just seeing what we can get inside and I'll let you guys know about what's happening backstage and ahead of time. Yeah, we're going to give you the different schedules of the different headlining acts and what stages they're on and the ticket link and all kinds of stuff. So let's do it, Beth. Well, first I want to say music starts Friday, September 16th, yes. which is, by the way, everybody, easy to remember, it's Bethy's birthday. Oh, there yeah, you go. I'm excited. I get to go party at Kaboo on my and birthday. And yesterday was my anniversary. Hey, hubby. It's one of those wonderful things. We're yes. in a good place. We are. Uh, make sure you go check out. You're gonna, they're going to even have comedians like Dana Carvey. 
Yeah, totally. We love Dana. Um, you know, and so comedians, live music, uh, great headliners, just... Oh, and they're, this is the bragging point that I want to share with all my lady friends. Yeah. Uh, they're really proud that they don't have a lot of these porta potties going on. They no, like they really don't. Nice restroom situation no stepping going. in the mud. I don't mean to get Smelly. all sexist on that, but you guys, you know, sometimes you don't care as much. Three days in a festival you're like that's what's different between this and woodstock <laughs> i think so it's one of the big differences <laughs> there's probably still gonna be as much drugs running around but there's not gonna be no porty potties well i can't or speak mud. for that you know no i mud. don't even know what to say about that <laughs> uh but i do know that when we've been talking to the um the leader the managers and the, everybody who's pro- promoting uh kabo they're just excited for this upgrade in uh what's happening on stage and backstage they have artwork they have better food, uh, better sound. Uh, you can travel and you can stay really close to there. Um, and there's wristbands for just about everything you want to and do. And we, we have to say that Girls Talk Rock is so excited to be uh, the main voice uh, at this festival uh, for Enter Talk Radio. There we are. Look and at we that. are we are we're just we're so excited. I think our station manager Florentino is. His heart rate just went up. Yeah. Yeah, he's fluttering. He's like, oh, God, I'm sending the girls out. I'm sending the girls out. (laughs) Um, But there's going to be Jimmy Buffett, the Coral Reefer Band. Dude, are you kidding? Aerosmith. Are you kidding? Fallout Boy. Jack Johnson. He's Look at that. Oh, my God. Lenny Kravitz. I wonder if he's going to bend over. (gasps) Or or bend (laughs) forward. Is he going to bend and split? (laughs) (laughs) Ooh, girls. You better be ready for the bend and split. (laughs) We just had a moment. We did. We just had to hold that moment in our mind. Okay. Daryl Hall and John Oates, they are two of my favorites. I saw them live in Phoenix and at the Celebrity Theater in the round, and they were both really sick that they had both had the flu. But this, yeah. And they put on a wonderful show, but they, they should be still, they're still killing it. I mean, come on. They're stupid amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I always say the word stupid amazing, but really we take for granted the... This is a finesse, and what a great show. <laughs> DJ Snoop Adelic. Snoop Adelic, I like oh it. Oh, my God. These the Goo Goo Dolls. What? Yeah, I'm oh telling you. God. You know? All right, Third Eye Blind. Who does not like Third Eye Blind? I mean, ludicrous. come on, seriously. We all Ludicrous. If you look there on is. their website, if you go to kaboodelmar.com, make sure you go to their lineup. And oh, look, Steel Pulse. Steel, I know. It's They're so going to be there. You're going to want to camp out. You're not going to want to leave. Uh, um, the Blues There's some guilty pleasures awesome. like Sugar Oh, Sugar Ray. Ray. There you go. <laughs> but, you know, for all of uh, you out there who have already have your tickets for Kaboo, uh, make sure you give, drop us a line here at Intertalk and Girls Talk. Uh, Rock, yeah, and we'll make sure we hook you up with the exclusive. Did that say Creative Soul? Oh, you, you know what? Everybody's there. Everybody, if you're it not, did it said Creative Soul? You know, oh wow, she's just. Like, I have to. Oh, I'm so gonna hang out at their stage. I don't care where they are and what they. So let's talk about the stages. What stages do they have? You know, there are. Well, here's my guy. Before we talk about stages, all right. Here's my man. Right oh, there. Chris Isaac. Really? Let's just can we pause he's a your moment? Guy? Oh, yeah. He's my get-out-of-jail-free card <sighs> right there. Okay, okay. thank you. We We're just over had that it. moment. Oh, We're Macy good. Gray. Macy Gray. Yeah. Now, that that's... Oh, look. Okay. So let's talk about some of the comedians. Sarah Silverman. Cheech and Chong are actually going to be there. What? All right. got to check that out because that's going to be over the top. This is over the top. So we are... Well, it says Cheech and Chong. Oh, there must be a new Chong. Oh, man. Did Cheech be, get a new Chong? That's, that's almost worth me going to go see right Cheech there. Cheech got a new Chong. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Needless to say, we've got Kabo Del Mar. We've Kaboo. got uh, also our wonderful people up in Long Beach doing the Long Beach Zombie Fest. These we are can't all music wait. festivals going on, and then we have stage shows that don't end just because the summer season is over, and that's going to um, be a great series. Uh, at some of our local venues, like the Music Box, like House of Blues, like our wonderful uh, Belly Up, and of course, like our Coach House and our Go Up the Coast. We can go right up the coast to Saint Rock, Rock and everywhere and else. Yeah, and there's a g- wonderful rotation. And our uh, guest coming in for our uh, right before the break here, we're going to bring him out right after the break. Is uh, Mick Adams and the Stones, and yes. they're an act that a uh, tribute act that has been working for a lot of years. In this industry, they are on the better stages. They have a beautiful show. It's just like... And, of course, they're honoring one of the greatest rock and roll bands in the world. Ever, 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 ever. Ever. You know, with the Rolling Stones. So, uh, you know, and and we're going to talk to them when we come back um, a little bit about the stages they play, where they've come from, what they're doing, how their production and their uh, 
social media crew really yeah. promotes and get these and what the shows future going. holds for them, of course, and where they're going to be. We have a they have a really big show coming up this Friday. Uh, at the Coach House in San Juan Capistrano. For those of you listening here in Southern California, that is South Orange County. So right, right. before you cross that base. And uh, here at Girls Talk Rock, we've got a few uh, free ticket packs. So We do. Yeah, we do. We've got two we gotta give them away. pair ticket packs. It could be you. And uh, you just got to have to text Tracy. Well, just go to our website, Girls okay. Talk Rock, uh, on Facebook, and just uh, send us a message and... If we like your now say me first. If we like your uh, four page essay then that you're gonna write <laughs> then we'll now, pick you. Tell us uh, why you, you love uh, <laughs> Nick Adams and the Stones and we'll make sure we get yeah. you the first of we have two pairs of tickets for uh, the coach house, which is Nick Adams and the Stones and that's right. And the ever insane Groove Kitty. Groove Kitty. The show. Oh Bethy's so, gonna be there yeah. putting on her boostier and Hey, I'm going to be putting on a lot more than that. Uh, <laughs> anybody who has uh, never been to a Groove Kitty show, you know, we're a little more <laughs> themed out. i got to put on a little more than a bustier because a lot of work goes into that, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And I encourage <laughs> you to come out and enjoy the fun and the effort uh, it takes to, you know, not be March Simpson all night. We have a really good time with it. And Tracy's going to be there, and she might even have a preview of some of our bracelets. Wait, did um, you just talk me into being there? Yeah, I did, because you're going to oh be giving God. away some girls' talk. Well, guess what? Yeah, because I'll Friday have to night. roll out with my camera, won't I? This is what's happening. We yeah. would like to get some uh, interest from you guys. Of course, you know it's the fall season. If you have a show uh, at any of our local venues you want to let us know about, we are officially in the fall season. We're going to be attending a lot of our, these fall festival yeah. shows, uh, some of the ones we just mentioned. And, of course, we're big fans of uh, the, the stage of, of it. Coach House. Right. And we're going to be talking about a lot of the uh, talent that is going into that show. And don't forget, next week, man, our guest is going to be Deborah Galan. She's uh, a really big local uh, jazz in the jazz community um, here in San Diego. So we're going to be talking all of, to Deborah Galan next week. And uh, that's going to be amazing. And don't forget, Zombie Fest is October 14th through the 16th. And uh, when is Kaboo? Kaboo is September 16th. That's the following 18th. month. Yes, yeah, September, September and se- then October. September and then October. So we've got something for you to do. And if you're looking for, we'll have some uh, prizes, some zombie fest tickets between now and the event. Yeah. Our next uh, ep- segment, we're going to have Mick Adams and the Stones. Yeah. So, so hang stay tight. Tuned. We're going to hear about this upcoming show on Friday. We want to thank Enter Talk Radio because they are the network that's carrying Girls Talk Rock. We want to thank Paul, our producer, and, of course, Tino, uh, which is Florentino Buenaventura. Florentino Buenaventura. Yes, we want to thank those, too, because they put in a lot of hard work here. We're Here's getting her done at Intertalk Radio. We'll be right back. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. You know what's all around you every waking moment of your life? Marketing. You're choking on it. I'm Scott Robertson, and when it comes to strategic PR, branding, and marketing, I've seen it all. And actually, I'm still seeing it because bad marketing never sleeps. Join me each week on May the Best Brand Win right here on Intertalk Radio and learn how to make the marketing for your brand unforgettable. Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. 
Hey, it's Tracy Smith. And Beth Venus of Girls Talk Rock. Right here on the Inner Talk Radio Network. Every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Okay, Beth, they know that, but we want you to know that the industry pro's choice is Silver Tiger Production. STP is a full-service production agency offering sound, lighting, installations, talent buying, staffing, backline equipment, rental, and sales. Kapow! It's everything in the entertainment performance industry. It's all at... It's all that! SilverTigerProduction.com. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. Welcome to Girls Talk Rock, where the musician's creativity finds its voice. And here are your hosts, Tracy Smith and Beth Venus. Right, you're hearing right there, Mick Adams and of the Stones. Mick Adams and the Stones. Welcome, welcome. I hope we have our what our guests from Orange County here uh, on Girls Talk Rock. Welcome, you there, Mick? welcome, Mick. I'm here. Awesome. I'm here. Aaron's right here with me, so we're both here. Excellent, awesome. Aaron, who of course is your producer, manager, and. Wife. Beloved wife as Beautiful. well. What a great team. We'll talk That's a little right. bit more about that as well. What a great yeah. entry to some great music, a little sampling of what our audiences are going to get this Friday. Tell us about your first time deciding to be a Mick Adams, a Rolling Stones tribute. What brought you well, to it? it? It was it was kind of a fluke, actually. Uh a friend of mine called me up from down this way and said they were putting together a band and they were going to make it a Rolling Stones tribute band and he thought I could do it. You know, I, I could play Mick Jagger. And I always loved the Stones music, of course, when I was you know, a kid even. And the only difference is I'm a blonde by nature. <laughs> so I thought, I don't really look like Mick that much or whatever. And then things just kind of evolved and I changed my hair color and I changed the cut and... It's really funny. The more you kind of do something like this, the more you get the swagger and everything, and you start to morph. Yeah. Now I have a hard time going out to dinner around here without people coming over and saying, "Oh, we saw you here," or, or "Can we get an autograph?" Or, "Can we get a picture?" It's like it's that's awesome, though. Life. I mean, that's awesome when you get out there in the community and your fans recognize you. That's that's brilliant. Oh, I love it. I mean, I, it doesn't bother me. It's just a little. Puzzling sometimes, I guess. Well, what if your reviews say that actually you may be too good of a Jagger, uh, that you show great signs of being a richer, higher range voice and some extra things that may be lacking and something that everybody loves to watch, maybe the best of the Stones that we've gotten to hear over the years. So, you know, you've been doing the Rolling Stones tribute for a while. What is it that has changed in your showcase the most over the years? Um, I think it, I think a couple things have changed. It, it comes down to like when you're performing, it comes down to like, for me, I look at it as just as much of an acting role as it is, uh, being a singer in a band, so to speak. Uh, yeah. so it's costuming, it's the swagger, it's the, it's the energy level that has to be maintained because Mick is just like a ball of fire up there. So, you know, I've, I've got to be pedal to the metal from the time I hit the stage until the time we're done. It just, that's the only way it works. So like how many hours a day do you actually work out to have all the energy that you need (laughs) for the full performance, right? (laughs) To have the Jagger swagger. Actually, actually, I I like to ride my bicycle. I like to ride my bicycle. Yes. I like to ride my bike. Um, That's a different band, right? I also have yoga, things that I do, you know, to stay stretched out. I do vocal exercises like Nick. Uh, which cracked my wife up in the car constantly. Um, 
And uh, our drummer always gives me hell at rehearsal because I'll walk in, I'll still be doing him at rehearsal. I'll be going, Lohanji, Lohanji. He's like, please, stop, please. But, you know, it's just what you do, you know. And it's like I've always always had a lot of energy anyway. Um, and so it's it's just a balance. Well, you know, it's true. I've We've yeah. seen your show. And I know for a lot of our listeners who are in bands right. and is particularly in tributes, um, it's always a referral we have to say, right, Tracy? We always mention you guys as one of the bands. Go see that band as an example of what to do if exactly. you're a tribute. Some good example of a of, of, of real finished product. Yeah, and we have noticed with some of the major tributes that we go see and work with that you either either the whole band looks like them or the whole band sounds like them, but not a whole lot of bands look and sound like. So they usually choose one or the other. You know what I'm saying? You guys got it both going on. You guys on. got it both going on, yeah. Yeah, we, we, you know, we got we got really lucky, and thank you very much for for noticing. Yes, <laughs> but um, but we we just you know, it's taken a long time to get to this point, and I now have what what I like to call my dream band. This is my dream band. Very cool. Um, Oh yeah, well, great. Yeah, because great we we, we know how we know how crazy it is to be a musician in this business. So you get out there, you, oh. you you like work for like a year, you get your product up to speed, and then the drummer quits or the <laughs> bass player leaves or moves out of the state, and you're like, what? No. So yeah, or we you wanna, we know. Or you, or you find out one of them likes to carry a gun in his glove box and a knife in his boot. Like <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my god! Are you awesome. kidding me? Well, so, if you're hitting yeah. that kind of bars, I'd beware. No. <laughs> there is, like, though. Really <laughs> well, you know, yeah. when you get to know a band, and it is a very intimate experience. Right. And all, those family things come out. You're like, wow, that person's really crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. And it can happen to the best of us. But it looks like you guys have really found a That's really good, good that you found your niche, yeah. You know, because. Um, oh, my God. For you. We, we found just a great collection of their characters. Don't get me wrong. Each yeah. one of these individuals in the band is a real character to, in his own right. But they're all positive, hardworking, good. meticulous. Good. You know, they're, I, I call Ronnie, who plays Ronnie, I, hmm. I call him note for note Ronnie because if I ask him to learn a solo just like the record, he re-records it, slows it down, and even goes down to the science of hearing exactly how the guy's bending the string, be it Ronnie Wood or Mick Taylor it's like he's that meticulous about it. It's insane so that, to me, but that's what he does. Yeah, so that's kind of funny. We've got a Ronnie that plays Ronnie and a Mick that plays Mick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how, <laughs> how crazy is that? I'm kind of digging <laughs> it. It makes it easier and, for everybody. And, <laughs> and, and a Jeff that plays Keith, and he's really taking the role to heart because he harasses me constantly. Awesome. <laughs> I bet the audiences love it, though. You know, when they see that uh, on stage and that communication, that little fun and that banter, it makes it, oh, yeah. it, all the difference. Well, tell us about some oh, of the cool. awesome stages that you guys are playing, because I, I want to let our fans know where we can get out to see you guys. And this might be Aaron's Well, we've got, we got a really fun summer, considering we've been all the way from Michigan to Bermuda. Awesome. So that was really fun. We had a really great time this summer. But uh, coming up, we're going to be uh, at the Coach House, of course, mm, coming up yummy. here on this Friday night. With air conditioning. And, uh, oh, wait, wait. So, somebody I know is going to be there with us. <gasps> I heard of them, too. I think oh, my it's, God. Like, is Gr- it Groove Kitty? Is it, yeah. is it, girls, is it girls Talk Rock? We've been oh, ca- it's Groove Kitty. We've been calling it Guilty Kitty lately, but it's, <laughs> it's Groove Kitty, yeah. Awesome. And there's going to be some uh, some guilty pleasures. Well, and tell us about some of the other places rock. you're playing coming up now. Yeah, what are your favorite stages? Uh, well, favorite venues? Um, we're going to be playing out of Spotlight 29 the night before the Stones play Coachella. And oh, no. night one off ramp back from the off ramp to go to the big major concert out there. And so you're playing the day before? That's room. awesome. I wonder if we're you're going to get a bigger crowd. <laughs> uh, yeah, we played out there, and that is, it's like just a, literally a stone's throw. A um, stone's throw, that's good. Yeah. Get it? A stone's throw? I'm trying so She's hard. on it. I'm so on. Yeah. <laughs> but what a, a great yeah. uh, a room to play uh, out there, though, too. That's a, a great space, and you guys are going to have a really full house. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I love the coach house because, you know, the crowd's pretty close. Uh, Spotlight 29 is a lot the same. Um, we're also doing a, uh, a concert for, um, it's called Game, Game Changers. And what it is, it's uh, they're putting out a whole event. It's for um, cancer research for Children's Hospital. Oh, there you go. And oh, it's going to be just amazing. That's coming up on uh, I think it's the October second. 
And where is that uh, at? Is that, that what what town is that in? Is that there in Orange County with you guys, or where is that at? Yeah, that's that's down in Orange County. It's going to be um, at the park. Uh, I'm trying to remember the park right now. Well, we're going to get information on that. Well, you know what? That, I, that's Dana, important. It's, it's going to be in Dana. It's in Dana Point. <gasps> Miles Davis. And, and actually, my other crazy band, that Marvin, my bass player, who plays Bill Wyman in the band, talked me into doing with him and some of the other guys from the Stones band. Uh, we <laughs> we have a band called the Shagwells, which is really fun. Oh, I know all about the Shagwells. Yeah, Shagwells awesome. rock. You guys rock. And it's so much fun to play all that stuff. But the other thing we're going to be doing that I'm really excited about is finally my band, my logo, my everything, my guys, we're going to be on Access TV. Oh, it's huge. That is huge. And that's coming up October the 5th. Listeners, if you don't know what that is, Access TV has the best. That's the world's greatest, world's greatest tribute band. It's yeah. The station that's owned by Mark, Mark Cuban and uh, Ryan Seacrest is a silent partner. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and not, awesome. so, si- not so silent though, because that has been a huge success, and it's a real honor to get asked to be on that program oh, and be totally. part of that show. Uh, That's like the midnight special of. Right yeah, and now, it's like so kind of. super now, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's what Mark Cuban wanted when he when he bought the station. He wanted that. Right. It so is he, just that's what he put fun. together for it. Now, when we spoke but earlier, yeah, you said you guys might have some tickets available uh, if if our listeners get in on it quickly. There may be yeah, some. Yeah, they released. Uh, they released. Uh, it was pretty much gone. All the tickets were gone, and now they released a handful of tickets. So, if anybody wants them, grab them quick. You can go to the. Uh, you can go to the website for Access TV World's Greatest Tribute Bands and put in, you know, Mick Adams and the Stones and pick up, you know, some tickets there. That is but, huge. Uh, yeah, this will be my third time on there. I was on the very first season when I think there was only about maybe eight million households. Right. And then uh, now I'm. This is like the seventh season, I believe, and now it's 63 million households nationwide. That's very cool. Well, it's a huge oh it's jolt amazing. to any career, and it is also, I think, a validation of the hard work and you know the, the time invested has paid off for you guys. Totally, and that's really you know transcends to getting an offer like this on a program like this. It's not a fluke at all, um, and yeah, so we just want to encourage everybody. By the way, those are those are gratis tickets. If they can get their hands on those and they get on that site quick enough, those are those are free tickets, right? Yeah, if you go to if you go to our Facebook page, um, I think there's information up there about it as well. So it might be even easier just to go to McAdams and Stones. Yeah, let's send them right yeah. to you. Well, I want to ask Aaron something while we've got the both of you, because I know true love is an amazing thing. It is, but uh, working together is you know a double edged sword. So Aaron, you do a lot of the crazy busy work that is needed in running the business yeah, of a the band. Uh, tell us what your greatest challenge is working with your husband and also what, what makes it easier. I know they're giggling, you know, I'm in a band with my husband, so I, I think it's amazing. He's, it's a good thing. We don't carry arms. That's all I'm saying. I'm, it seems we're very lucky, but, uh, so what, what is your greatest challenge as far as working together and being the, the administrative and production side? Um, and you know, kind of managing the band as well. You got to make sure everybody's listening. What, what's, what's been the greatest challenge for you, Aaron? Well, as far as between Mick and I, it's just mostly the discipline of telling him to sit still because he's very energetic and getting him to sit still and sit down and watch videos before every show. That's probably my biggest challenge because he's always flying around the place. But besides that, we get along really well. We we don't argue. No. I we love have it. That's good. Goals. Probably the hardest part of my job mm, Maybe you know, booking the band. I do all the booking. So, um, but that's even that's getting like really crazy busy over this. Last actually, the year hardest too. the hardest part of the job for her, I think right now is keeping up with all, with all the friend requests that we're getting <laughs> because the announcement. of the announcement of the TV show. Because the commercials go up on Access TV to sixty three yeah. million households in the country, and we're averaging how many how many hits you think we're getting a day? Facebook. Well, friends. I know you're getting close to 40 a day right now yeah. and just Excellent. it's hard to keep up with even uh, yeah i run all the social stuff all the the website media, and Instagram, yeah. twitter and the reverb nation and all that stuff and the media show that we do um 
I, your creation yeah, of love. Yeah, I created that. that yeah, well, along. take take a second, Erin, and just give everybody all your links because if you want them to hook up with you, they need to know. So give us your Facebook, your Thank Instagram, you. and all that. Well, it's Nick Adams and the Stones on Facebook. On Twitter and Instagram, it's Nick Adams Stones. Okay. Um. Those are the big ones, I think. I'm Reverb Nation. It's just Mick Adams and the Stones. Okay, cool. Yeah. But and of course, even on Pinterest, even on Pinterest, Mick Adams Stones. Yeah, yeah. and of course, you have uh, what is it, mickadamsstones.com? dot com? The website. Yes, uh, Mick, uh, McAdamsStones.com. Yeah, yeah. yeah mickadamsandthestones.com. dot com. Yeah. And that's Correct. like, uh, you know, so relevant. And, you know, uh, we are getting close to the segment. We want to ask you guys, will you guys stay with us for our, our closing segment? Yeah, we want to hold you, you over to mind, the next segment. Do you, would, you mind, mind staying with us? Do you yeah. guys have the time to stay? There would be like a two and a half minute break. But we want to come back and talk to Aaron and to Mick. Yeah. Um, and because I think our listeners really are want to know what works um and 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 you guys have a t- tried and true product and uh, we want to learn from you guys and between the the wonderful fairs and festivals and wonderful fall shows i gotta tell you going to catch mcadams and the stones is going to be something you want to do because if you're a fan it's just so fun and if you're an artist you can see what you ought to be doing um, Thank you very but much. I want to come back and I want to talk about what you guys, what kind of media platforms work for you. Um, cause there's so many that people like you'd mentioned reverb nation and Spotify. And then, and if you use gig masters and if you're on, uh, you name it, like, you know, Facebook. And if you're on Twitter and like, Twitter and yeah, blogger gig, and gig town and gig, t- and gig salad, bigger and, and blogger. And geez. I, I don't talk yeah. the talk, obviously that's kind of Tracy's territory, but I'm very intrigued <laughs> it by is. it all because you know, it used to be you kept up with like your web page. That was like the big modern. And Facebook bit. just used to be like, you know, your 10 or 15 close friends. And now you've got 5,000 and then you've got another 5,000 and another 5,000 if you have three different sites, you know. And oh, yeah. it's crazy to keep up with it. Just the me- keeping up with the media alone is insane. So everybody stay with us. We have Aaron and Mick Adams of Mick Adams and the Stones. Uh, they're going to be with us the, the closing segment, we're going to have our quattro questions. We're going to ask them a little bit about their media oh, platforms. Oh, quattro questions. We uh, love our quattro. We also have a few tickets that we're going to give away for this we Friday are. night. We are. We um, are. We have, we have like, you know, donating to the cause to make sure we get some people who have never seen them before. Maybe yeah, and so if you do want to get out there, Beth, tell them how they're going to be able to win those tickets or get those tickets that we are giving away. Yeah, they need to go to Beth. At studio at ccma.com. And or if you want to email mm-hmm. her directly, Beth at girlstalkrock.com. Yep. Tell Hit me. her up on an email. Tell her why you think that you deserve to go. Tell me you've never <laughs> seen them before and you got to because they're amazing. We're just closing out. In our final segment, we'll be back with Aaron and Mick Adams of Mick Adams and the Stones. Yeah. And we want awesome. to thank, we want to thank Enter Talk Radio because without Enter Talk Radio, Girls Talk Rock would not be here and we wouldn't exist. So uh, go to the website, entertalkradio.com, and you can see Girls Talk Rock and all the other major shows that we have on there. Jackie's Groove, uh, John Robinson, uh, all kinds of people. You you go check it out, entertalkradio.com. Be right back. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on Intertalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing, and it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element, affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. You know what's all around you every waking moment of your life? Marketing. You're choking on it. I'm Scott Robertson, and when it comes to strategic PR, branding, and marketing, I've seen it all. And actually, I'm still seeing it because bad marketing never sleeps. Join me each week on May the Best Brand Win right here on Intertalk Radio and learn how to make the marketing for your brand unforgettable. Girls are talking rock again. And people are listening. Today we're talking bands. Let's talk promotion. 
Red Giant promo, graphics, EPKs, video, photos, social media, and brand building using content marketing. But let's talk studio at CCMA, which is events, rehearsal, tour prep, piano, guitar, voice, rock band, lessons, workshops, and clinics. Yeah. Both proud sponsors of Girls Talk Rock. Well, get the lowdown on these services and contact me, Tracy, at girlstalkrock.com. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com to me information news and entertainment on demand welcome to girls talk rock where the musician's creativity finds its voice and here are your hosts Tracy Smith and Beth Venus. And that's our cue music we love. Yes, we're back in. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here with Mick Adams and the Stones. And, of course, his lovely wife, Erin O'Brien. But she's not just his wife. And I don't want to say just. Erin just. O'Brien. There's no Justin wife, but I'm just saying. She's not just a wife. She is a producer, a manager, okay. a talent buyer, a booking right. agent. And I could go on forever. Well, let me just say that let me just say that yesterday was my anniversary. I'm 31 years married, 37 together. Dang! So I know oh, where you guys are at as far as, you know, a really good relationship. And it's good that you can work uh, together and play together because that's what my husband and I do. I don't do that well with my husband. We pick her that's every day. That's why, because you don't work and play together. We do. We play together too much. Okay. Well, maybe that's the problem. I'm just saying. Break it up. I'm break just, it up. I'm just saying he's a diva. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it All right. That. Let's talk about some of the awesome things coming up for you guys. And the so, if you're going to be going on a tour, tell us where you're going next and where you, what stages and things like that you're going to be playing. Well, they mentioned. Oh, we're going to go to... In, in um, January, we head to Arizona for five shows in about six nights. Yeah. Awesome. Sure. Are those all casinos? Do we know where? Do we know where? Because I have a lot of friends in Arizona. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Listening. So, Is it casino uh, stages? Casino, or yeah. performing arts okay. centers. Um, yeah. Those I are the best because they, they take care of you. <laughs> okay. We'll just I'll just put a Facebook post out there and tell all my friends to watch out for Mick Adams and the Stones in Arizona on their tour. In the AZ, the Zonies. Yeah, yeah, in the Zone. The Zonies. So when you I'll travel. As I get closer. When you travel with actually, your band, going, is it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, go ahead, sweetie. No, I was going to say, actually, we'll be in Arizona the end of October as well. Yes. So cool. At the mm-hmm. Desert Diamond Casino. For Halloween, it sounds like, yeah. Well, we'll be back for Mick to do a show with Bo Donaldson and the Haywoods for oh, Halloween. He's delicious. Part. He used to sing for Bo Donaldson. So. Oh. Yeah, I still sing with Bo Donaldson sometimes. So. Really don't be a hero, you know. I love oh, it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> My husband yeah. loves that song. That is it. Well, when you travel, do you guys, so is your is your core band right now a seven or a nine or a five? What are you working with right now? It's a, it's a seven-piece band, so when we travel, Aaron always goes with us, so it's like eight of us on the road. And awesome. And the part is really get along so well. It's hysterical. Well, what's the logistics of that? Do you yeah, is like... it a tour bus? Is it a van rental? Is it plane tickets? Well, it depends. <laughs> no, actually, when we go to Arizona, because everyone comes from so many different areas. I got a couple guys up in the valley. Yeah. In San Fernando Valley. Then I got um, the, the singer and... My female singer, Marinus, and myself are down here, and Aaron are down in the Sons County area. Then Ronnie's over in Placentia, and Vic's all, Vince is all the way down in uh, um, uh, Temecula. Oh, he's uh, wow. Am I missing anybody? Oh, he's still and, north and, of You say all the way down in Temecula, but we're in San Diego. That's an hour from us. Yeah. We're like, what? When, when, all the way down. When you live down, down here. All the way up. When you live, live down that's, here, everything's that's north. My, that's where my drummer is, though. And then our keyboard oh. players are in Cerritos area. So. Wow. Yeah, sometimes we carpool, but usually people, when we go to Arizona, they take separate cars usually because Jeff Schofield, who plays Keith, 
his girlfriend's family is in Arizona, and they like to visit with family. And Vince Lupo, our drummer, he has friends out there that he likes to visit with. So everyone likes to have their own car usually. But oh, if we're great. flying somewhere, obviously, then we're all running the van and flying together and doing oh, that kind of thing. Well, that's right. Have you, ever been to you know, Bermuda I am not gorgeous. lucky enough. I've been with that husband of mine for 28 years, and I haven't been to Bermuda. You need to talk to him no. Friday night, please. She needs to go to Bermuda. No, and it, it, wasn't a, it, yeah. it wasn't a vacation. It was a working expedition, but oh, my God, what I'll a gorgeous it. place. Oh, man. Okay, we'll have Kitty support y'all next so time. So we say we got to get her to Bermuda <laughs> and Bahamas. Come on, pretty mama. Sounds amazing. <laughs> well, you know, we were asking about the challenges of working together, and that's a challenge for any band and any uh, – road manager in general you know there's all those isms that uh, rub each other right and rub each other wrong along the way but sometimes it can work for you on stage um you know i know with a seven piece you guys have a lot of live music going on so when you're adding new material do you have everybody come to orange county for your rehearsals and you have them lock it in early and just see if you can get a run through or what's your your normal yeah, protocol for that usually for rehearsals since this is on one end and my bass player and guitar player on the other end up in the valley, we usually meet down this way, and then we go, you know, everyone knows the songs ahead of time. So, you know, everyone does their homework, and these guys are really good about it. So usually we show up at rehearsal, and we can run through a song one time and go, wow, that was okay, okay, move on to the next one. Yeah, it's feeling good. That's That's cool. Yeah, do you guys find yourself doing a lot of special arrangements for live shows, like, uh, we always talk to our tribute bands about doing the produced version, you know, the kind of radio version. Or like the live version. Versus the live version that you yep. often see the the actual band doing live. Do you guys ever have personal choice for that? Do you feel like you tend to go yeah. one way? Well, what we do is, and what we've tried to do all along, is we don't want to portray the Stones necessarily as they were, yeah. you know, because we're getting older and whatever. So we produce the stones pretty much, or, or reproduce the stones as they are now, so to speak. Yeah. And the cool thing about that is, though, is we we kind of make it a hybrid between the original recording and the energy, and sometimes the ending or a slight arrangement that they may have done live. Yeah. So 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 you get like you get those iconic guitar solos, you know, and that kind of stuff, but you get the energy and a lot of the endings or the ins and outs of of that live performance that the Stones are so famous for. So, you know, it's like you get a little bit of both worlds, and it works out really well because, I mean, I know people in the audiences at our shows who can sing guitar solos. Just They're just right. so, so, so iconic. You know, my right. wife's one of them, actually. Well, those yeah. signature songs. And, and that's what I've always done because I'm a 70s child. So all, all the good all the good ones I remember and, and know every single note of every single uh, lead. Sure, but yeah. that's kind of what we do. We kind of make it a hybrid, which works out really great because if it's if the energy's not there, the show will fall flat on its face anyway. Right. Because if you don't have the, if you don't have a show, uh, show with energy for doing the stones, then you just don't have the show. It's not, and, it's yeah, not and good. I think that's where bands some bands go wrong is that they just don't understand that you are uh, putting on a show for the crowd. It doesn't matter how you feel or what happened that day. You really just have to put that all behind when you get on stage. And you just have to go. Oh, yeah. You just have to go for it, and you just have to put on a great show. That is so so true. Yeah. Well, it, without, it, it's, it's real simple. Without the fans, without people coming to see you, or buying MP3s, or in the old days buying your your CDs or your albums, whatever it is, without those fans, you don't have anything. Right. Well, it's tough to so build better, in this better, day in life. You better be know what you're doing and, and play those signature sounds that they're anticipating, yeah? <laughs> that's right. You, you better put it all out there and leave it there because that's what they expect. Well, yeah, because I went to a heart concert and I was disappointed because they played four uh, Led Zeppelin songs. And I'm like, I, was, I paid to see Heart. I didn't play to see Hart do Led Zeppelin, so they that was kind of disappointing for me. They kind of kick but, ass on Led Zeppelin, though. Well, they do kick kinda, ass on Led yeah. Zeppelin, but that's not the point. The point is I paid to see Hart. If I wanted to see Led Zeppelin, I'd go see Led Zeppelin, you know? <laughs> I love you, Tracy. I, I agree. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, Aaron it was disappointing. Totally, Aaron totally gets that, yeah. If yeah. If I went and saw the Stones and they were doing sticks well, or something, I'd be pissed. Well, that brings <laughs> right. us to a very sensitive <laughs> subject in the world of, of theme, cover, right? tribute, and sensitive. era. Music. I say era. You have your 80s tributes, your 70s tributes, and blah, 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 blah. Right. But a big scene in music now is 
uh, the difference between using triggers or sound effects and or tracks. How do you guys feel about that? And uh, what is the what is the Mick Adams and the Stones vibe on using well, trigger, I bet you with a trigger, seven piece, they triggers don't. or tracks? <laughs> I'm going to guess they don't with I'm a seven so piece. I'm so proud of this. Right. We use no backing tracks awesome. at all, vocally, instrumentally. It's any all point. live music, live vocals. And I think we that's what sets you guys apart, too, yeah. To, yeah, we use video production to enhance the show. Right, right, right. We use, we use a scene for, uh, at the beginning of You Can't Always Get What You Want, that's a whole scene of different choirs singing that whole intro thing. Yeah. But when it comes down to the song itself, it's all us. That's and good. that's the way I want it, all us. Totally. You guys, we're cut from the same cloth. It's so nice to hear... Uh, this kind of people that are creative and yes. you're creative and you're, and, and you're taking a risk. Uh, and but again, it's paying off. The risk pays off. You're well, not taking a, you're not taking a risk. You're not taking a risk. If you believe in craft and you're working your craft, the problem with a lot of kids yeah. these days is they don't put in the time and effort to learn how to sing. Or you I know? think part of it too, when I say risk, I mean in a good way because right. What do I always joke around, Tracy? Every show is a snowflake. <laughs> right. They're <laughs> right? all different. And yeah. allowing every show okay, to be a show, you know, yeah. every show yeah. is a snowflake. And um and allowing it to be and, and the indiscretions that happen or the weird moment that you um have to move for that something that happened or something that fell over or when or, your track goes off and you're like uh now what do we do well that's what's the joy of doing all live now <laughs> yeah. i can also share with you groove kitty is also an all live uh yes uh, theme tribute and we definitely uh have crossed that bridge uh to to not do it we had to make a conscious decision yeah um, i mean it doesn't oh, yeah. mean making more and money or thing. yeah because that's quite an admirable trait it really is it's well, we, you know, like you're putting it, you're putting it all out there on the line. It's all, it's there. If there's a mistake, there's a mistake. But you know what? That's live music. That's live music. And that's what I want to hear. What as a fan? I mean, I went to a major concert and I think it was Sticks or someone like that, and heard a couple mistakes. You know, during major parts, and I'm like, dude, that that guy just made a mistake. But that tells me he's they're doing it live, and that. That's and we're human. Exactly. We're in the moment. So yes, you've got to roll with it. We're in the moment. It's uh, you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna date myself right yeah, now. Yeah, go ahead. You guys date cool yourself. with that? Okay, I'm gonna start dating myself. Um, you know, the youngins, the millennials right now. Yeah. Um, and I love y'all. Listen out there, love my millennials. Love them. But sometimes y'all don't know what real live music is because no. you'll hear a DJ with somebody <laughs> singing and you'll say, "It was live," and I'm like, "That ain't no." That's not live. That's a recorded track, fool. Um, which is delicious, and someone can do. I'm very happy about that, and we have our little debate, the bite, the bites. That's right. But um, I really feel that when they get the opportunity to see a, a live production, especially with a tribute, because you are being compared to the signature sounds and, like you said, the epic moments that people are anticipating. Uh, and the look. If you're an original band, you can you can griff it, but if you're a tribute, you can't. You have to People be a know step above. You have to be a step up, and you have to right. be on uh, reliably doing a product. So, I'm just that's why I say you're taking a risk of that of imperfection, and that's a beautiful thing. As I think, I think it's a, a really exciting thing that every day can be different. I mean, a lot of people get sensitive. We ask about that. We've played with several. I'm sure you guys have experienced it at a fair uh, where tracks went out and the band had to stop. And uh, yep. we were like, whoa, that is whoa, some crazy. That, that's bad. That's some crazy yeah, it going bad. on. But well, let's get back yeah, to. A, go ahead. Go ahead. Erin has, Aaron has a, a theory about about a lot of that stuff. And she just, you know, and, and I do, too. It's just like if, if, if it's live, it's supposed to be live. Yeah. It's not supposed to be music in the can. It's not supposed to be vocals in a can. It's supposed to be live. Is it live or is it, it is. Memorex? <laughs> exactly. Well, do you- I, I will say though there are certain bands that it is physically impossible to for them produce. to recreate oh, the totally. record live on stage because totally. there are so many different instruments and Queen. there's only so many people in the band. Queen. And, you know, so, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Queen. I, I think that's I why like not too many people try and pull off a Queen, uh, Queen. <laughs> tribute. Let me just so. say Queen. Hey, I think we I yeah. think we're we're four minutes out to, oh, to end the show. Oh. So we it's time for our Quattro, Quattro questions. questions. Yay. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. We're gonna ask you four super random questions. Questions, and we do this for every guest on our show, and you just have to give us oh, your boy. answer. It tells us a little bit of insight into your brain. So go ahead, Beth. Question number one. <laughs> okay. You're stuck on an island, and you only get to hear one band play. Or one song. One song. Was it one song? One song. Not even one band. 
Okay, can we do song? No, you got to hear one if one song over and over again. What song is it for the rest of your life? For the rest of your life. Just pick a really long song. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it would be a long song. For me, it would be probably Give Me Shelter, if I had to pick just one. Nice. All right. What's yours, Mick? Yeah, for, for me... <laughs> like, it doesn't I'll have to be a stone. It's, it's the silent song. Or, or maybe Midnight Rambler, because I love Midnight Rambler. All so right, that's, <laughs> that's totally cool. Okay, here's the second question. Wine, beer, hard alcohol, which one are you and why? Oh, dear God. Wine, beer, or hot Oh, dear I'm God, I love alcohol. it. Thank you. Know, we... you. <laughs> and, oh, and why? And why? <laughs> if, wine if... gives me a headache, and I don't drink beer. Beer is like... You know, so you're hard alcohol all the way, huh? Drink... Oh, these are my yeah, people. <laughs> these are my people, All right. JC. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. <Are> my people. <laughs> okay. And, well, I was going to say, I, I had this really c- cool creature I was going to bring up, but it would, might be disgusting. All right, are you a dog, cat... Bird or turtle? <laughs> or turtle's better. Uh, dog, cat, dog. bird, or turtle? Dog. dog yeah. Are you both dog people? Yeah. Dog people. All right. And here's, the, here's the last question. If you're dog any people. kind of food, what food are you and why? Any kind of food. Yeah. If you're if you're food, which food are you and why? That's an interesting question. Thank you. This is going to uh, be telling about Mick Adams you, and the Stones. What are you? Oh my god, I have no idea. Dude, Dude that's a really good one. I think I'm sushi. I'm totally sushi. Air would be a chocolate bar. Chocolate, <laughs> chocolate bar. Okay. It all is hard. chocolate technically sweet food? Sweet heart. Okay, go ahead. Sweet in the heart. Oh, sweetie. Air, air, air would be sweet. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense for you. <laughs> Me, I'd be a half gallon of some kind of really great ice cream. Oh, mm. I, I doubt that chocolate and ice cream are food, but you guys, you missed the point. Tracy, those are foods. I don't think they're foods, they even though we foods. eat them. Tracy, those All are right. foods. I was talking okay. about real stuff. I could go days living on these foods. We want to remind our okay. listeners that we are online today. We're getting Adams crazy. And the Stones. And of course, Aaron, the manager and producer and booking agent and lovely. And he's her husband incidentally as well so uh this is a great she's pair. a photographer or a multimedia <laughs> person or... <laughs> sounds like me sounds like me um and what we've really regret really trying to share with our listeners what a great show mick adams and the stones is and uh oh, what a, a working group you guys are when we say working group we want to use you as an example that people can look you up and check out what it takes to be a working band now we're down to the last minute so i'm going to say mick adams and the stones dot com if you want any further information on the band and Coach House yes. this, Friday this Friday night, Coach oh, House, and don't Friday forget, night. don't forget, yes. we got to mention the last thing we got to mention is Kaboo! We're going to be a Kaboo! We're going to be a Kaboo! We're we pressed. invite everybody. We're hey, pressed. you know, uh, and at the Zombie Fest, and we're going to be at Zombie Fest. Hey, Aaron, look, you guys should join us at Zombie Fest. Dude, you guys need to dress up Zombie Fest. Come on, Long Beach. We need you to guys bring right you up guys there. with us. It is going to be a blast. Uh, October I'm, 16th, I'm gonna get 17th, ugly. 18th. I'm going to be ugly zombie. Ugly. I'm going to be ugly. All right, we got to thank Enter Talk Radio, and we have to thank Mo's Guitars, and we have to thank Studio at CCMA. Yes, Red Giant Promo and Silver Tiger Production. Make sure you hit us up for. T- Tickets for this Friday night at Coach House. Yes. And if you want information on uh, Mick Adams and the Stones or any of the other great artists we've had on Girls Talk Rock, make sure you reach out to Tracy or Beth at Girls Talk Rock. On Facebook. Oh. There you go. Oh, thank you, Mick thank and Aaron, so for thank showing you. up. You guys have been the greatest. Hey, <laughs> yes. As Mick, would, as Mick would say, it's been quite a pleasure. Oh, oh there we go. Ooh, we got to end on pleasure. We did. <laughs> oh, we like pleasure. <laughs> we'll see okay. you guys this Friday. We'll see all our listeners this Friday. Thank you, Silver Tiger next Production. Week, next week, Deborah Galan. Tune in. We'll see you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey, it's Tracy Smith and Beth Venus of Girls, Girls Talk, Talk Rock. Rock right here on the Inner Talk Radio Network. Every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Okay, Beth, they know that, but we want you to know that the industry pro's choice is Silver Tiger Production. STP is a full-service production agency offering sound, lighting, installations, talent buying, staffing, backline equipment, rental, and sales. Kapow! It's everything in the entertainment performance industry. It's all at... It's all that! SilverTigerProduction.com. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear from Eclectica Studios. I'm a full-time mixing and recording engineer. I work with Grammy winners, labels, and indie artists using state-of-the-art digital mixing and restoration tools and the very best in analog gear. Really, though, it's my ability to bring tracks to life and fulfill your vision for your music. 
This has made me sought after by producers and artists worldwide. So spend your time working on music and not chasing a mix down a rabbit hole. Go to timdolbear.com and check out our free one song mix offer. You know what's all around you every waking moment of your life? Marketing. You're choking on it. I'm Scott Robertson, and when it comes to strategic PR, branding, and marketing, I've seen it all. And actually, I'm still seeing it because bad marketing never sleeps. Join me each week on May the Best Brand Win right here on Intertalk Radio and learn how to make the marketing for your brand unforgettable. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beat, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. 